What's going on, folks? This is Mr. Apathy, Devlin James, come to you with another video. Well, guys, I have some great news for you. The MGTOW philosophy is spreading faster than you may think. And this message, this news, is for all the men out there who are going their own way. This message is especially for all the men who have channels dedicated to educating other men about the dangers of dealing with many of today's women. The MGTOW philosophy is spreading and I'm seeing this more and more within my own personal circle of friends. So all the work you do in creating these channels and producing these videos is not in vain because they're reaching people. And with that being said I want to stop and give a big shout out to the mayor of MGTOW. One of my good buddies, whom we will call Joe the Mechanic, for the sake of this video, stumbled onto MGTOW and the philosophy of men going their own way because of the mayor's channel. Now, I hadn't seen or spoken to Joe in over a year due to both of our busy schedules, but he was one of the first few people I reached out to after I had recovered completely from my MS attack. The conversation was the usual. How have you been? How's life been treating you? And how are the ladies? Before I go any further with this story, let me give you a brief background on Joe. Now Joe has owned his own shop for about 20 years now. Been married and divorced has two kids who I believe are both in their early 20s now. Joe himself is 50 years old but he looks more like he's in his early 40. Oh and most important he only dates women who are either in their early or mid 20s. I think he's actually allergic to any women who are age 30 and over because I don't hear of him dealing with too many women in that age group. And when I asked him how the women were treating him, his reply was, I don't know, Devlin. These women are getting crazier and crazier. Then he asked me if I've ever heard of a term called MGTOW. Right away my eyes widened, my eyes lit up. Well, there are a group of men who are refusing to get married or have kids or be in relationships. Some of them don't date or deal with women at all. Others just use women for sex. Now obviously I'm paraphrasing here guys but this was the gist of our conversation. Devlin, I think these guys are onto something. There's this one guy, the mayor of MGTOW, who talks about Brad Pitt and how he was getting Billy Bob Thornton sloppy seconds when he married Angelia Jolie. Basically, Brad Pitt, who was like America's bad boy, was a sucker for marrying Angelia Jolie and weighing his life down by adopting kids with her. Joe was raving over that video because the mirror was speaking the truth without any filters. Plus he's telling you all this as he's taking you on a tour through Hollywood in his convertible. What's not to love about that? Later I did tell Joe that not only do I know about MGTOW but I am a MGTOW. I am a man going his own way. And I have a channel on YouTube. Now it turns out that he's even seen a couple of my videos when I told him who I was. Well, I also got a chance to hang out with Joe last week at his shop. He was doing work on my best friend Eduardo Navidad's pickup truck. You see, my buddy Eduardo, or Eddie Christmas as we call him, had to get the head gasket replaced on his truck, which was an all-day job. Now, Eddie and I have been friends since freshman year in high school, and we're mutual friends with Joe. I've known Joe for over 14 years now. I think Eddie's known him even longer. Little background on Eddie. He recently broke off his engagement to a woman 
he's been involved with for over 10 years. And he's going to college. Some that his ex fiance didn't support when they were together. But now that she's out of the picture, he's working on bettering himself. He's even talking about hocking the engagement ring and either buying himself a sports car or a Harley. Now you know he has my support on that one. Eddie and Joe are both on the MGTOW path. I know for a fact that Joe will never again get married. Not after all the bullshit he went through with his ex-wife. And I think he's currently revamping the way he deals with many of the younger women he dates. Eddie isn't ever looking to get married or have kids. As far as he's concerned, he wasted enough time and went through too much financial bullshit with his ex to turn around and repeat that same cycle with another woman. And then there's me. But you guys already know my story. Now Joe has a nice setup at his shop. In his office, he has a custom high-speed desktop computer with a 40-inch flat-screen TV, which is linked to another flat screen in the bay area of his shop where he does the work on his customers vehicles and there are speakers all around the shop so as he's working on people's cars he can see and hear whatever is being watched in his office on the desktop I told Joe he was like goddamn Bruce Wayne with his setup anyway Eddie and I sat in his office bullshitting while he worked on the pickup. I asked both of them if they've ever heard of Tom Likas. Neither of them did. So I told them I'm about to introduce him to him. I pulled up YouTube, then searched for a number of different videos. And we ended up having a Tom Likas marathon. You see, for me, Tom Likas was the first step I took onto the path of MGTOW. He was the first one to open my eyes to the true nature of women. And I couldn't get enough of his videos on YouTube. So, I figured I'd start them on their MGTOW path in a similar fashion. They are both new Tom Likas fans now. And I took them through the essentials. From Likas 101 to how women age like milk while men age like fine wine two women want your money two women over the hill funny thing happened when I had them watching a video on how no one wants a 50 year old woman who walks into the shop to have work done on her car but a 50 something year old woman when I saw her I tried to be quick to pause the video then switch the screen over to the Mad Max movie Joe had been previously watching before we got there but it was too late She'd already seen the title, and she made a snide remark, of course. Oh, I guess it's guys' night tonight, huh? I was more or less trying to hide what we were watching for Joe's sake, but he didn't seem to give a shit. After she ran it on about what her car was doing for what seemed an eternity before leaving, after scheduling a time that Joe could look at her car, the last thing I heard her say before she left was, Oh, I know who Tom Likas is. She looked and sounded like an old bitter woman. Anyway, to wrap the story up, I left the two of them at the shop for a moment to get some cash from an ATM. When I came back, they are both watching none other than the mayor of MGTOW. Joe told me, Oh, I had to show him this one, Dev. I was happy to see this because the MGTOW philosophy is spreading between the two of them. And they're, they're two of my closest friends. So I'm glad to see that they're deciding to live for themselves. That they're renouncing marriage. And they're just, you know, really living life for themselves. I'm getting ready to close this video out. And in closing, I want to thank the mayor of MGTOW for his channel and the videos he produces. In the description box is a link to the video my friend Joe found. If by chance you don't know who the mayor of MGTOW is, please follow the link to his channel and subscribe. You can't come to MGTOW 
and leave without visiting the mayor. I also want to thank the mayor for the way he encourages me and all other MGTOWs to produce videos so we can reach people like my buddies Joe and Eddie. Anyway, that does it for me. That's all I have for today. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and keep watching. More videos to come.